The old man and the tiger. A poor old man lived with his large family in a small hut in the middle of a forest. He was a woodcutter. His sons and daughters were very young. His wife was busy cooking, cleaning, washing, and looking after the children. She could not help him earn money. Every day, the old man went deep into the forest and chopped wood. He gathered the wood, tied it in a bundle, and carried it on his donkey to a near village market. He sold the wood and bought food for his family. One day, when the old man was busy at work, he heard a loud growl. He put down his axe and stood very still. He was afraid of ghosts and thought to himself, Oh dear me, if that is a ghost, it may be some harm. He was very frightened. Just then, a large tiger came out of the bushes. Do not be frightened, old man, said the tiger. I won't harm you. You work very hard. Sit down and rest for a while and let me do your work. The old man was surprised. He did not know that tigers could talk and what's more, this tiger was often to help him. How, how kind you are, dear tiger, he said. The old man rested under a tree while the tiger worked. Soon all the wood was cut. The old man and the tiger tied the wood into a bundle and loaded it on the donkey's back. The old man thanked the tiger and went off to sell the wood. The next day the tiger arrived and helped the old man again. This went on for some weeks. One day after the work was finished, the tiger lay down and rested his head in the old man's lap. The old man stroked the tiger's fine coat. The tiger purred like a cat. He looked up into the old man's eyes and asked, Am I handsome? Oh, yes indeed, replied the old man. You are very handsome. Am I strong? asked the tiger. Yes, of course. You are extremely strong, replied the old man. Am I young and full of energy? asked the tiger. Yes, yes, replied the old man. You certainly are. Ah, oh, sighed the tiger. I have all the graces. You surely do, said the old man. But do you know you have one fault? You, your skin stinks. You are certainly very smelly. So if you don't mind, please take your head off my lip. My wife will throw me out if I smell like you. The tiger immediately stopped pooing. He got up and bought the eggs. Come take this eggs, my friend. Strike me on the back, said the tiger. Oh, no, said the old man. I can't possibly hurt you. The old man did not know what to do. So he shrugged his shoulder lifted the axe and then brought it down on the tiger's back. A wood about two fingers deep opened near the tiger's back and the blood spurted out. It made the tiger's coat wet and sticky. The tiger went off into the forest and the old man took his wood to the market. The next day, the old man went about his work. The tiger came and watched his, him from a distance but said nothing. The old man began to feel frightened. 
Time went by, and then one day the tiger suddenly sprang out from behind a bush toward the old man. He said, "Look at my back, old man. What can you see now?" The old man looked carefully, but he could not find the axe wound. It is hurt," he exclaimed. "There is no mark there." "Yes," replied the tiger. "The wound has healed, but your harsh words have stayed in my heart. That can never be healed. I will always remember what you said about my shrinking skin. You must now live for us." Or I shall eat you up. And with that, he gave an impulsive roar. The old man left the forest, and from that day he feared all tigers. Other men too are now afraid of tigers. It is good to remember that knives and axes last like day. Hard work. Hover always tape.